Hey there everyone, this is Kyle Cow playing VLDCX, and I was told by people of great knowledge and wisdom to investigate the secret exit of Abstract Plane is, or at the very least, a secret exit that leads to a boss. I mean, alright, if you guys think this is worth it. Uh, I'm gonna go and try and find the secret exit here. It can be anywhere though. So I don't know how long this is gonna take. Uh, but here we go. Let's look for it. It can be anywhere. Help! Yeah, it can be anywhere. Help. Alright, well, yeah, let's look around. I don't know what's going on. Is there anything in this pipe? Is there. Oh, I've never been in this pipe. I never got here big. It's the smile challenge! In this cool bonus room, you can find orange lines to make your platforms quick. Challenge and don't let yourself fall off. Alright, sounds like a good time. Orange and lime. Okay, this is welcome to weird heaven. Yeah, so yeah, uh, I didn't expect to fall there. What? Oh, uh. I didn't expect to fall there, I don't know how that happened, and then when I tried to jump back, I hit a solid object. I don't know what. <laughs> Welcome to Abstract Plane's experience. Alright. Second attempt. Yeah, I fell off the platform at an awkward time last time. I don't know what happened with- oh, I guess it's when it went down like that slightly. Wow, says the universe. Oh, those guys are having fun. They're having a hanging around party. Oh, that's cool. I'm just gonna duck here. Alright, it's just- just uh, Again, you just- I just fall. Those are just fish. I don't like how I just fall sometimes. It's very stressful. Like, I'm just gonna jump at random parts now. Yeah. All right, I made it to this colonnade of funk, and <laughs> sweet. Well, that wasn't a secret exit. It sure was an adventure. I remember there being a, a P-switch somewhere. Oh, hey, and you can turn the world blue if you want. If it's that, if that's your kind of style, own it. I don't know, like, things are kind of harder to see. La da da and ten ten ten. Here we go. Jump. Ah, well, yeah. I I had like no reaction. I just kind of stood there. There's a pipe I can enter here. All right. What's happening? <laughs> um, is the is the top? Res not? Yeah, he's there. Wow, how did this break so beautifully? I don't know if I can bop him. I'm trying, but I, I can't reach. Okay, the world continues to decide a little bit. Maybe things will make a bit more sense. No, they won't. Maybe I can use you, strange double-ended shell. No, you can't. Yeah, like, because of the angle, can I, like, reset this area? Doesn't look like it. I just don't know if I can actually hit you. Oh, wow, and I managed to let that hit me? Seriously? Alright, once more into the void. Uh, this is like some yump grade nonsense. Like, I love it, but I just don't understand how you hit that guy. You can't hit him with a shell. Uh, you need to like bounce, cause, and you can't do the jump from here. Like, there I try to jump, and like, it feels like I hit a solid object. So I don't know if there's like a springboard I need to find maybe further here in this gelato realm. Let's look around. Uh, this is a... Okay, you get another fireball here. Alright, there's platforms and things everywhere, including this beautiful mailbox. 
there's an extra copy of the HUD, which is always useful. And you get a return path. Cutscene, press up! Uh-oh. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> press up. <laughs> Why wasn't this on the main path? Oh, don't put secret exits in the contest, man. I wish I had experienced this live last time. I'm going to go through the Bowser fight in case there's something interesting in the end. Uh, but I'm probably just gonna edit, like, most of this out, because, I mean, this is- this is Bowser, except I'm wearing a Smurf cosplay. It's not- well, so awkward. Uh, Prince is brown, but I was expecting maybe something weird. Alright, is anything gonna be different here? Nope, but just got a purple, kind of purple, dark purple dress. It just, that changes everything. Look, man, I wanted to check. Can I check? There you go. Mario's adventure is over. Huh. There's no ending. Alright, well, I'm glad I went through this. Magenta Mine is where we go, I believe I can't see the world. Uh, change a bellow with your setup, there's actually not a secret world. Uh, finally. <laughs> a world that's not afraid to be a little bit more simple. We got the new normal setup, so let us go! It's probably gonna be here. Hey, everything is purple with stars embedded. Get out of here, Koopas and friend. We got weird little structures everywhere cause it's an abandoned mine. In reality, a lot less interesting than video games. Like, it's just deserted and there's like maybe unusable machinery around. Oh, you can have a weird little mist jump there where I landed on the corner of the beetle. It's like, I can't go, go, oh, okay. Is this based on, uh, Dragon Valley? Bow the Valley of Bowser? Bowser Town, Bowserville? Bowser, 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 Bowser. Everyone keeps talking about Bowser and not about me and my chicken farm collection. And that's just not fair. Uh, this is like a, oh, we got Water Blarg. That's pretty rad. <laughs> okay. Well, you gotta be careful with Water Blarg, because that means you might be swimming around where he is going to appear or not, and it can be a little awkward, but... Oh, hi. How's it going? Yeah, especially there, where you're kind of like almost invited to hang around where he hangs around. Anything cool on top here? Like, I don't know, you know what? We're going both ways... Thursday. That's my favorite meal of the day. Alright, these are... Oh, shoot. Ah! Yeah, perfect. Perfect move. Perfect plan. Perfect execution. Dagadon has been a reach. Threat level at least... Oh, I'm dead. Oh, you turned around because of the spike top. Thanks for your help, friend! Hey, look at that. These guys are serious. They had the wing guy in front. He's the leader of the bunch, you know him well. I'm walking in darkness while a finfar plays. Finfari fantastic I don't know what I'm saying, but here it goes! Alright. We went on the men's in the cave and... We got wet. We got dirty. All the hallmarks of a great adventure. Three Ambience Castle- Whoa, Bowser music! Sounds like a level where it's a castle with three biomes represented. I don't know, no secret exits though. So we're just gonna go forward in the world. Oh, look at that, we got info. Here we go. Teach me about the world. Uh, yeah, okay, shiny nine tails. I'm gonna try and enjoy it. Let's see how it goes. This is the biome of ashes and lava. <laughs> 3ambiencecastle.com Here we go. Don't go to that address. I don't know where it's gonna leave. Yeah! Dark World theme! That's such a cool piece of music. 
before we even get to the castle today, we actually need to get there. There's giant radishes. It's gonna give us a preview. What to expect? Stairway escalator found in nature. That's pretty. We oh, well, I missed that one up. I could probably bounce on. You're supposed to bounce on a fish. You're supposed to wait until the fish aligns himself in that like that blockade of uh, sarsaparilla juice, and uh, you know, and that, and then you bounce and you can get the dagadon. But I'm not too concerned about anything. Just going through an adventure in space, or at least tangential to that. Did a bad idea there, but you know, we don't talk about that. Oh, check it out. Bop that guy. I'm, I'm gonna snipe that dude. Here we go. With interest. Okay, so here the trick to get that dragon coin. You get here big and you swim in the, the pond. I didn't do it though, because there were scary fishes and I was afraid. But I'm gonna go in this door! Yeah! Alright, so we got Dolphinis. We got a nice little sign there. <laughs> in case you're lost and you don't know where to go. Oh. I don't. Oh, what? I didn't see you up there. You could probably use a camera slide from now. A camera slide? You mean this? Thanks, Dolphin. You're my hero. Alright, I mean, I'll... If the level author tells me you should use a camera slide, I guess that's a good name for it. Whoops. Come on. Hey, whoa, 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 I pressed up and you didn't go in. Aw, oh, man. Go in. Go in. Jesus, hell, dude. Alright. Back here. Warm for you. Thanks, Potabo. Ah, uh, video game zoo. I never like playing with right scrolling though, so I'm gonna try and play this normal. See how that treats me. That's the third drag. Really? That was close enough to fall? Oh, <laughs> mushroom that leads to a mushroom. That Potabo always get that tab on that. I hope that the front yard is one of the three biome atmospheres or whatever. That Potabo is timed with that dolphin so well. Ugh. It's it's honestly pretty impressive. Alright, so now I'm ducking, so be careful. Wow, I made it here! Can't believe it. There's, like there's not there's no secret exit. Ugh. Really? Potable hopping? Or am I just misunderstanding this? I don't know. I don't know if you- you probably need that key. I'm taking a huge chance deciding not to grab that key with me. Alright, so that's what a set of two coins mean, huh? Fair enough, I guess. Is that fair enough? How do you delineate fairness in this context? Ah, dude! Why am I having so much trouble? I, I keep falling off the nets before I think I should. I don't know, like, I don't know. I... Is... No, normally, you can just walk off the side of nets. Like, there's not a hole holding you. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with that in particular. I get the sense that it's supposed to be that hard, but it is. Hey, I killed that guy. That's pretty cool. Uh -huh. You just want to do that. Okay, you're safe here. Double dolphin. Every day. Uh, feel like I was lucky there. Yes, sir. -y. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just. I was hoping for a Potabo, but I got a midpoint, so it's fine. This level is trashing me. Man, I am. Well, I get experience this little lagoon here. Yeah, there's an X. Dead, invisible door. And that's why this is here. Uh, and this is like a big old mess when you get here. It's pretty cool. All right. Yeah, land on the animal. Sure, Potabo. Whatever you say. How is this gonna get time good? 
Good question. Uh, okay. Um. You never know when to expect things to get real hard in, in a contest. You just cannot predict at all, ever. There we go, look at that. Easy as pie. So, you can bring the key here and... I mean... Really? And I forget if this level advertised- no, this level did not advertise a secret exit, so there's probably like a dragon coin or a moon or something. If you bring the key from the first part all the way here to the start of the second part. And, you know, you, you, you got something, but it doesn't look like it's something I'm gonna go after. Alright, hey! So, how does this work? Whoa, you jump there from there. Huh? Why am I having so much trouble? Are the nets different in some way? I wonder if they're repurposed vines. Because, I don't know, I am being real clumsy around these nets in a way that I'm not used to. And now I'm wondering, like I am wondering if they're vines. Dude! Alright, so what's- okay, so dolphin here. What can possibly be a vine? I don't know. Because I can't go higher than that. I am wondering. Yeah, no! This is not net. These are vine. I think. I think. I'm- am positive. You wouldn't think that would- that would matter. But no. Nets and vines have different, like, rules pertaining to like their size and whatnot, and I think this is what has been tripping me off for like the entirety of this part of the level. Oh, there's a box up there. Oh cool, sweet money. Ah, whatever. And things. Sweet. Got mm. I jumped way earlier than I needed to there. Yeah, didn't trip and fall off. Well, there's something important happening. Oh, hey there! Hiding behind a carpet and yet not setting it ablo- Oh, there's a swamp in there too, by the way. I mean, I should probably have been more careful because of the whole foreground thing. I was looking at a disco shell in the bottom floor. Maybe I fell for a trap. Like, that's just- that's just- that's just what it is. There's no real other words for it. I was wondering if I want- I- I jumped! I'm... Alright, I'm gonna make you do some precise platforming out of fences. Also, you can't use the full size of the fence. Have fun! I'll try. Alright, take your time here. Just, yeah, take more time than you think you need. You can see the thwomp if you think he's gonna be there. That's just Disco, just slam on him. Like, he, he talks loudly. Words are coming out. He talks loudly, but he can't take it. And then we end with just Ludwig. No, we're not. <laughs> All right, you got me. <laughs> I appreciate it. I guess this is the third atmosphere. Another kind of castle. <laughs> <laughs> it's very different. Alright, so you can slam some shells down there and ha have a party. Well, maybe I will, if there's like a power-up in there. But what if it's just money? Well, I'll never know, because I did that. Alright, you know what? Doesn't matter. Not really. So is this generated or placed? Feels generated. It's kind of swinging in a weird place. Ah. I hate potable hopping. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Hey, fireball. Like, honestly, I don't want a potable jump. I'd rather wait for a fireball to come, like, actually trying to harm me. Ugh, really? Yeah, I don't know how I feel. There's maybe a power up in one of these, but honestly. Not worth the hassle, I don't think. 
Okay, we're back here again. It's like I never left. Why do the fireballs favor, like, way up there? That's wild. I mean... <laughs> Hey, look at that. Everything was placed real nice until that guy just came along. Like, that's the problem with the generator, is that sometimes, like... Okay, let me correct my sentence there. This is a problem with the generator in the context where you have to do huge moves that you have to commit yourself to. Like, when you have to do a big jump like that, the generator can just decide to put the hurt fight box right in, right in your path and... Either you take a hit, or you halt your momentum and die. And when you're small, or you can just otherwise not take a hit, like, that's not the most fairest of feelings in the universe. It's something you have to be really careful about. I can't believe I got hurt there. Ugh. For nothing, too. I was thinking be another mushroom. No, there was just money in there. So, like, like, I tend to be pretty aggressive regarding my opinions of generators, but, like, th they can exist. But you have to make sure that the level accommodates for them, which I do not believe this level does. Also, a generator with Kamek. That's pretty rad. Uh, doesn't seem to want to appear on wood, though. Oh, never mind. I just wasn't in the mood to appear, period. I mean, coins... not useful. Uh-huh. Also, this has lasted a while. I'm ready for this level to end. Put a bow, put a bow. No, no, no. Okay. No, put a bow. Yep, 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 yep. Good times. Good times are had by all. Here are not unique to me. That <laughs> yeah, gameplay. to do that safely. Like, it was that or waiting five more hours, and I made my choice. Fire's either in the way or very inconvenient. Yeah, the fire generator stops here. Did I literally do a fireball hop last time? Alright. No, see, but here there's nothing. Alright, I am... Sweet! You did it! You telefragged me, Mr. Wizard! Such a powerful talent! Whoa! Bet it took you, like, hours of training and skill... What do I do here? That? Because that'll work. Where did I die last time? Here. Or around here. I was waiting for a potobo, then a potobo didn't happen, and then I got hit by a potobo. As you do! Level is fine. I feel it's just... It's either a smidge too hard or a smidge too long. One or the other. I mean, if it's the conclusive statement of a whole game, then I guess it'd be fine, but then I'd be prepared for this. Taken raw like that, uh, yeah, it's a bit harsh. Like, the level does little things bad, but they kind of accumulate, and yeah, like, I'm... You might be disappointed with your placement, but, uh, yeah, it's a bunch of little things that just kind of collide together. And you, you end up with a big old slime monster that rusts all your armor. And like, I mean, like, it's cute at first, but at some point, it gets expensive.